What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I haven't given you guys one of these POV videos in a while, but I do want to give you guys my opinion on something that's going on on the internet recently and I want to add my two cents in as one of the YouTubers for this platform, the VR30 that is, I wanted to give you my two cents on Nissan. They've been buzzing around the internet giving us these spy pictures of the new Z. Is it going to be called the 400Z, the 400R, whatever it's going to be called. And there's supposed to be a new Z coming out sometime in late this year, early next year from Nissan. Now, the VR30 engine has been proven to be quite a powerhouse uh, when modded correctly. A uh, decent amount of power, mid 400s to 500 wheel horsepower on the stock motor without altering too much with it. So, I am hoping that the Z doesn't have a whole lot of the same recycled parts as the Q60, but it, let's be honest, it's probably going to. Um, but as far as the price, I'm, the disease I've never had, uh, really had never had a rear seat. So, uh, it should be a little bit cheaper. Uh, it should be somewhat smaller car, less weight, only available in rear wheel drive. That's the only way this should make this car. All wheel drive is just going to add to the weight and take some of that sports car factor out of there. So we should get a rear wheel drive. A manual option is probably wishful thinking, but if they give it to us, that'd be great for the enthusiasts. Um, a neat transmission will be nice. The 7-speed automatic is really getting outdated. Um, people say it's great. I agree with them. It's a great transmission. It does its job well, especially the ones we've seen lately in the uh, VR30, Q50, and Q60. But if they give us a new automatic transmission that can compete with, let's say, the new Supra, the ZFA transmission shifts very quickly, and an 8 or 9 speed somewhere in that area would be very nice to have, something fresh in the car that we can try out. But a 6 speed manual is never going to be turned down. I uh, can't believe I'm saying this. I just started driving a manual and I'm hooked. So uh, a manual option would be great, but let's be honest, it's not going to be the fastest. It'll just be the most fun to drive. So what I'm getting at is if Nissan makes this car and it's priced just right, I'm thinking this car is probably going to start if they do make it in the high 30s, low 40s, and it's going to go up into the mid 50s and possibly 60s, just like the Q60, depending on options and what packages are going to be offered. But considering this is going to be a true sports car, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of um, safety packages out there, like the lane departure and all that crap. If I get ever get a Z, uh, if they do make it and I ever get a Z, I am not getting any of those things, any of those nannies. I don't want that in my car anymore. I have it in my Q60 now, and it's kind of boring. I didn't even need it to begin with, but lesson learned and so on, moving on. So, Nissan, if you're listening, make this car, make it right, listen to your customers, listen, listen to the enthusiasts out there. We give valuable input to this community day in and day out, and I really hope you're listening. I know the company right now is not in a, the best financial form that it's been in the past, but um, I still have high hopes. That they're gonna come through and give us a, a nice package and, and a new Z, uh, a really nice chassis. Um, hopefully, it's nice and nimble and agile. It does not too much weight. Hopefully, I'm hoping for somewhere in the 33 to 3400 pound range, just like the new Supra. Something that can compete um, with a nice, rigid chassis uh, that we can actually, you know, take everywhere and daily and still have a nice, fun track and road course car. So maybe that's wishful thinking, but that's just kind of where I'm at with it right now with this possible release from Nissan. Looking at some of the spy shots that I've seen online, I'm not gonna, you know, base my opinion on the car based off these spy shots because let's be honest, the car could look completely different. Personally, what I would like to see is a retro look on this car. If it looks very retro, something like the 240 from back in the day, the 280, that would be dope. I really think that would really bring up the uh, interest in this car from enthusiasts like myself and possibly who are thinking of getting something like a, a GTR or an M3 that I said in the last couple of videos. Um, those cars are uh, really outdated, uh, the GTR specifically, is really outdated in the interior. It's one of the major drawbacks of getting one. If you get one, you know it's for one purpose and that's to go fast and people are gonna know what you have when you're on the road. It's, it has its own presence, right? So. I'm hoping if this car is released, technology is up to date, I'm really hoping the price is somewhat right and I'm really hoping as they stay to a true sports car and give us what we want. I'm sure a lot of the tuners who have been tuning the VQ motors for years and the shops that have been working on the VQ motors for years have gotten so much power out of these cars that I'm really sure they're hoping for something to continue on that legacy with. So. Um, I'm staying hopeful. I'm staying hopeful, guys. It's going to be 
a long journey to see what unravels over the next few months or even over the next year until this car releases but I am very excited to know that somewhere in the next 12 months I could possibly have a new car on the channel and I am hoping that it's possibly something that's up to date with the times uh, I honestly the more and more I think about it it's like I do really want a GTR, but it's like I, I drive one, I go see one, it's like, man, I can, I definitely don't want to daily drive a GTR. Now that I've driven one a couple of times, I definitely don't want to drive one daily. Um, it's not a comfortable ride for a daily vehicle. Uh, unless you have like a fleet of cars, of course, you're like, man, I don't care, it's just my daily car. But um, I personally wouldn't daily one. It's the, it's, it, it, you, everyone wants one until you actually try it. So, um, it's one of those things where you have to try it for yourself, see if you like it. I love the car, don't get me wrong, it makes sick power, it's a, it has a presence on the road, but it also, um, it's not something I can live with on a day-to-day -day basis, and that's just me. But moving on, um, the new M3 is coming out with the S58 motor, that's really grabbing my attention. I haven't seen the actual car what it would look like, but basing off the G20 uh, 340 that had just been released, the 340M is a great platform, um, I wouldn't mind getting into one of those, but back to the Z. I'm hoping Nissan releases some really good shots of the car, what it potentially could look like to grab more interest of enthusiasts like myself, and then hopefully get us some more information on what the car is going to um, have as far as specs, you know, engine specs, uh, wheelbase, that kind of thing. Some of the things that I'm interested in, uh, what the interior may potentially look like, um, hopefully not as heavy as the Q60, but wishful thinking. So. I don't want to make this video too long guys, if you've been watching this video, go ahead and give it a like and go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below what you guys think the new Z Nissan Z, uh, potentially if it's made, what it's going to have as far as specs, motor, packages, I want to hear it all, I want to see it all, I'm ready for you guys to comment so I can chime in and uh, you know keep up with what you guys are thinking, I value your opinion, I value your comments, so thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned for future videos and have a great day.